<laughs> I think she remembers too, but yeah, I'm so sorry, Hunter. I remember one day I felt terrible because Hunter had this like monologue that she was giving and I was laughing about something that had just happened between takes. And I totally just, I was trying so hard. Like, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. Like, let her have her moment, Russell. Don't laugh, you idiot. And <laughs> I cracked up so hard in the middle of it. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm oh, so that's sorry. right. I think she remembers too, but yeah, I'm so sorry, Hunter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so recently the, the, the latest episodes on Netflix for season two. There's a there's a part where Ion actually is is blasting trying to blast uh, the little Paka, little Paka Zord, baby Paka, and <laughs> he misses and it hits a donut. So there's a donut flying in the air and it hits a donut and it makes it bigger. And so we had to do that. We had to drop a donut on my head because I catch baby Paka and so the donut, this huge donut, it was about this big. Yeah. And so they have the people out of frame holding this donut over my head. So after I jump in the air and do a tumble, I have to land and then I have it and they have to drop it. But think of a donut. It wasn't like a stuffed donut. It was a hard plastic. It was not hollow. It was a dense donut. And so we did that a few times. And so sometimes they would miss and it would just land on the top of my head and bah! And I was like, ow. <laughs> that was just an embarrassing day for me because before that, we had a scene where we're all training with the balloons. Yeah. And when it's me and Amelia, so blue and pink, we're the last people standing and we're training. And so I kind of walk up to her and give her like a little pose, like we're about to battle. And my hair from running around totally went from this side comb to just straight forward. And I look like Bruce Lee and my it hair was exactly like and it's just like this little bowl cut thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad and everyone was laughing because they were watching the playback and they're like, <laughs> Oh my gosh. My, my It was probably my first day on set. My first day on set, I think it was episode 16, which was my, my episode that I first come into. And I think, yeah, so that morning I'm going over my lines. I'm, I got all my lines in my head the night before. I'm running them easily. Go to sleep, wake up the next morning saying I'm easily get the set. We have rehearsal, then we have the walkthroughs and everything like that saying my lines perfectly and it gets to where the lead ad calls you know it's action time now so they call action and i froze and i just stared at the camera and i i my mind went blank everything just went blank i said absolutely nothing nothing i just i just <laughs> I was, that first scene i think i was um staring at russell and i was just staring at russell and i was just like lying <laughs> it was hilarious so my first line as an actor on any television show was lying. And that's for someone to give you your original <laughs> line. I don't recall. No. Um <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Uh, there it is right there. Uh I say what we can look forward to are answered questions. There's definitely a lot of like growing up in like I mean in season two for sure um but also like the back half of season two like there's a lot that happens a lot of plot twists and unexpected things um that you wouldn't foresee and it kind of like puts these characters in a world where you know there's a lot of uh, I mean there's obviously a lot of dangers in Power Rangers but like you know it just kind of forces them to grow up in ways that you didn't really see coming so it's 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 really cool um to watch them grow in that way and uh, I really, really love it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot, a, a lot of different stuff is shown, and, and then of course, you know, in the first season, um, Ayan only had a couple of episodes. So in, in the first part of season two, you can see that Ayan's connecting more with the team, and and you can see the chemistry as well between us, the actors. And um, what really stands out is the the Void Night situation. Like you didn't really see that much of 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 Void Knight versus like not even gonna say versus the Rangers, but the the whole chemistry between the, those two right there in the season two, you can just see everything. I just think if you're if you're debating on whether or not you should even go for it, go for it. 
just just give it your all and and find out if it's really for you or not and if you love it don't let anything stop you also like something that i've I think you hear actors talk about it and like I've seen some um, YouTube videos of like a round table with like a bunch of actors and like Brad Pitt and um, uh, Paul Rudd and like all these different like great actors and they're saying like you got to be comfortable with rejection and knowing that that comes with the job and you will get like dozens to hundreds of no's before something happens and like that's just the reality of it I'm not trying to bring you down it's just part of the job and like yeah. you got to know that but if you really love it like russell said like you keep going you keep sending in tapes and hopefully you get something i want to work with the rock i think being on set with him would be just a master class in in how to just do it all because he he does it all i have a i have two um one is Ryan Reynolds because I think that dude just like he he's just so good. He's so like instinctual and like you can tell like everything's just so in the moment and I just want to ask him questions like how do you get there? How do you like just be so comfortable and like and then the other one is Tom Holland. Um it's like I feel I mean obviously he's a fantastic Spider-Man. Um but I feel like he's just a cool dude and like we would yeah. have fun so I don't know.